Hello and welcome. You're watching NDTV 24/7. I'm Shanakshi Chakravarti. The big story that we have been tracking through the day: the Delhi Deputy Chief Minister Manish Sisodia. Uh, he was underscored that the good works of the Aam Aadmi Party government will not stop, come what may. Speaking to reporters after the 14-hour raid at his residence, he said that the BJP is misusing the central agencies for political purposes. He said that they have seized my computer and my phone. The CBI is being misused. He also said. that we are not scared we will continue to do the good work and that the cbi is being misused by top orders that's what the delhi deputy chief minister said after he spoke to reporters after that 14 hour long questioning and raids by the probe agency by the cbi but listen in to that sound bite he gave to reporters a short while ago aaj subah cbi ki team aayi thi unhone pure ghar ki talashi li mera जो कंप्यूटर है वो भी सीज करके ले गए हैं मेरा फोन जो था पर्सनल वो भी सीज करके ले गए हैं आ, हमने हमारी फैमिली ने पूरा सहयोग दिया जांच में और आगे भी जो जांच होगी इस पूरे मामले में हम पूरा सहयोग देंगे हमने कुछ गलत नहीं किया हमने कहीं कोई भ्रष्टाचार नहीं किया इसलिए हम डरते भी नहीं हमने हम जानते हैं कि सी का दुरुपयोग किया जा रहा है सीबीआई को ऊपर से यूज किया जा रहा है ऊपर से कंट्रोल किया जा रहा है सब लोग जानते हैं कि किस तरह से सीबीआई को ऊपर से कंट्रोल करके दिल्ली सरकार के अच्छे काम रोकने की कोशिश की जा रही है हम लोग ईमानदार लोग हैं कट्टर ईमानदार लोग हैं ईमानदारी से काम करते आए हैं पिछले सात आठ साल से जब से राजनीति में ईमानदारी की राजनीति करते आए हैं हमने कहीं कुछ गलत नहीं किया और आगे भी करते रहेंगे हमने बहुत ईमानदारी से काम करते हुए दिल्ली में स्कूल बनवाए और लाखों बच्चों का भविष्य संवारा है हमने ईमानदारी से काम करते हुए अस्पताल बनवाए हैं लाखों लोगों को इलाज मिला है लाखों लोगों की दुआएं हैं लाखों बच्चों की उनके पेरेंट्स की दुआएं हैं हम उनके लिए काम करते रहेंगे केंद्र सरकार जितना दुरुपयोग करना चाहे सी का कर ले क्योंकि हमने कुछ गलत नहीं किया इसलिए हमारा कुछ नहीं बिगाड़ सकते ये लाख रोकने की कोशिश करें लेकिन स्कूल अस्पताल का काम लोगों को अच्छी शिक्षा देने का काम अच्छा इलाज देने का काम दिल्ली सरकार रोकेगी All right, uh, let's go straight across to NDTV Akshay, who has also been tracking this uh, story and the developments closely on the ground. Akshay, the Delhi Deputy Chief Minister has come out and spoken. Uh, in fact, after those uh, raids, a 14-hour long raid, he has clearly stated that the CBI is being misused from top orders, and that uh, he is not scared, and that the Aam Aadmi Party is not scared. Uh, what is likely? What do we see next for Manish Sisodia? Well, that's a new thing. As far as the CBI is concerned, the Department Directorate is concerned. As far as the uh, for the upcoming in that given another date. As far as uh, new professor. Uh, All right, uh, we seem to have uh, that uh, line lost with my colleague Akshay. We'll try and fetch that back. But uh, but like we were just uh, pointing out, that the Delhi Deputy Chief Minister uh, has spoken to the media after that 14-hour long raid conducted by the probe agency by the CBI. He has said that the CBI has searched his entire house and that uh, there was no untowardly behaviour by the officials towards him or his family members, uh, but that his computer and his mobile phone has been seized. uh by them uh for investigation purposes Manish Sisodia was questioned for 14 hours. Uh, this comes at a time when the CBI has named uh, him uh, amongst 15 other accused in an FIR uh, which also levels corruption uh, 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 charges uh, and and that he has been accused in this amongst 15 others in the CBI FIR over the new uh, excise policy the new liquor policy on this so clearly uh, the delhi chief minister uh, i beg your pardon the delhi deputy chief minister manish sisodia speaking to the media over there and he has said that uh, his phone and his computer has been seized but clearly one will only watch and monitor how the cbi really investigates uh 
one will only in fact uh, go on to see how the CBI will in fact uh, monitor and investigate this particular case. Uh, in fact, uh, let's go to NDTV's Sharad who has been tracking uh, this story very closely. Uh, Sharad, we spoke earlier but let's also uh, just try and understand this. Uh, what is next for Manish Sisodia? Uh, this question we asked Manish Sisodia but uh, he told that now in the case सीबीआई ने उनको पूछताछ के लिए नहीं बुलाया है लेकिन अगर अभी पूछताछ के लिए नहीं बुलाया है इसका मतलब यह नहीं है कि जो तलवार लटक रही है मनीष सिसोदिया के ऊपर वो कहीं हट गई है क्योंकि जब सीबीआई ने ये रेड की है ये केस बनाया है एफआईआर दर्ज की है और उसमें एक्यूज नंबर 1 डिप्टी सीएम मनीष सिसोदिया को बनाया है तो जाहिर है वो इस केस को आगे लेकर जाएंगे तो अभी देखना होगा कि क्या आगे अभी मनीष सिसोदिया से पूछताछ अगर होनी है तो वो कब होनी है ये भी पॉसिबिलिटी है कि जो दूसरे एक्यूज हैं इसमें टोटल अभी 15 एक्यूज हैं 15 एक्यूज्ड इस एफआईआर में हैं और बाकी अगर सीबीआई को और लगता है तो और एक्यूज भी इसमें जोड़े जा सकते हैं ये संभव है पॉसिबिलिटी है कि अलग-अलग जो एक्यूज हैं उनसे पूछताछ सीबीआई करे या उनको अरेस्ट करे और उसके बाद जो अलग-अलग कड़ियां हैं इस केस की उनको वो जोड़ने की कोशिश करें ये भी पॉसिबिलिटी है जो डेटा या जो डॉक्यूमेंट्स फाइल्स पर्सनल फोन और कंप्यूटर मनीष सिसोदिया का चीज किया गया है उसके जरिए सीबीआई जो है वो कुछ एविडेंस जुटाने की कोशिश करे और उसके बाद केस को आगे लेके जाए जी शरद शरद जस्ट अ क्विक क्वेश्चन जस्ट अ क्विक क्वेश्चन दैट दिस इज नॉट द फर्स्ट टाइम ये पहली बार नहीं है व्हेन एन आम आदमी पार्टी लीडर हैज बीन सर्चड हैज बीन क्वेश्चनड बाय द प्रोब एजेंसीज दिस इज नॉट द फर्स्ट टाइम बिल्कुल ये पहली बार नहीं है और इससे पहले सतेंद्र जैन पर सीबीआई रेड कर चुकी है इससे पहले खुद मनीष सिसोदिया के घर पर इसी तरह से सीबीआई आई थी और पूरे दिन लगभग मनीष सिसोदिया से पूछताछ चली थी लेकिन उसमें किसी भी केस में जो सीबीआई भी सर्च कर रही थी उस केस में भी कुछ नहीं निकला चाहे सतेंद्र जैन का हो चाहे मनीष सिसोदिया का लेकिन वो दूसरे केस थे ये केस है ये एक्साइज पॉलिसी का केस है और इसके अंदर सीबीआई ये दावा कर रही है कि काफी कुछ उसको इसके अंदर मिला है लेकिन ये उसका क्लेम है अभी आगे देखना होगा कि किस तरह से सीबीआई इस केस को लेके जाती है लेकिन जैसा मैंने कहा कि क्योंकि एक्यूज नंबर वन ही मनीष सिसोदिया को बनाया गया है तो इसलिए ये तलवार तो मनीष सिसोदिया के ऊपर लटक ही रही है कि आगे अब सीबीआई किस तरह से इस केस को लेके जाएगी और संभव है कि अगर उस सीबीआई को एविडेंस मिलते हैं केस बनता है तो मनीष सिसोदिया की गिरफ्तारी भी हमें देखने को मिल सकती है लेकिन अभी सब कुछ हमें देखना होगा कि इस केस किस तरह से आगे बढ़ाती है सीबीआई all right, uh, thanks very much, Sharad, uh, for joining us with those details. So the Delhi Deputy Chief Minister over there uh, qu being questioned. Uh, he was uh, questioned by the probe agency, by the CBI, for 14 hours straight, after which he has come on uh, on record to speak to the media, to speak to the reporters, and he has said that his laptop and his phone has been seized and that um, the CBI is being misused uh, by top orders and that he will continue to do the good work that he has done and that uh, they are not scared and that he is not scared uh, uh, come what may. So the, clearly Delhi Deputy Chief Minister Manish Sisodia uh, being extremely firm and staying firm on his ground over there. All right, and uh, continuing and to stay uh, with more on that news, uh, the New York Times has responded to paid news allegations. The New York Times has said not an advertisement or paid in any way. Uh, this is coming at a time when a big ad was public of the Delhi government was uh, in fact published on the New York Times. Uh, but the New York Times has told NDTV that the article and in is an independently researched news item. The article uh, does not is not an advertisement or paid for any in any way and reports based on impartial on the ground reporting uh, is in fact impartial and education is an issue uh, the New York Times has covered for many years. So this is what the New York Times has uh, said in a statement in a response to NDTV uh, when we asked them about this particular ad that was published on New York Times, a full front page ad uh, uh, of the Delhi government and is essentially speaking and praising of the Delhi government education model.
Uh, moving on to some other news, uh, Reporters Without Borders has come out in defense of business standard reporter Shreya Jai, who was publicly ticked off by the Ministry of Power. The ministry questioned her reportage on coal imports by India in a tweet questioning her credibility, saying, this refers to the tweet of one Shreya Jai, said to be a correspondent of Business Standard. The tweet displays an utter ignorance of the sector which she is reported to be covering. Now, the particular group, uh, Reporters uh, Without Borders, has said respect uh, reporters as pillar of democracy. Uh, now, the tweet made by the said journalist, uh, she said that India's grid operator ha bans power departments of 13 states from trading electricity at spot power markets. These states had failed to clear their dues to power generators. This is the first such penalty under the new electricity rules of 2022. And in response to that, in fact, the, the tweet after that was, in fact, the response to this tweet by the Ministry of Power goes on to show and read as, this tweet displays an utter ignorance of the sector which she is reported to be covering in. Anyone with minimal intelligence will understand this. Unfortunately, this correspondence, correspondent, I beg your pardon, does not. Now, in response to this, uh, the reporter's group uh, has uh, Kai has said, uh, the kindly reminds the minister to use his own wording that anyone with minimal intelligence will understand that respecting reporters is a pillar of democracy. In other news, as outrage grows over the release of Bilkis Banu's rapists, more disturbing details have now emerged. Five of the ten members of the advisory committee of the Gujarat government, which recommended the release of the 11 convicts in Bilkis Banu's case, have links with the BJP. Based on the recommendation, the men convicted of gang rape and murder walked out of prison this Independence Day under an outdated remission policy of the state. Take a look. A BJP hand behind the early release of 11 men convicted in the Bilkis Bano rape case. The men who were convicted of murder and gang rape during the Godra riots and sentenced to life imprisonment were let out of prison prematurely after a jailed advisory committee recommended their release. But it has now emerged that five out of ten of the members in this committee, or rather half of this committee, were linked to the BJP. This is the list of all members of the panel. It has got five government officials and five BJP members. Two of them are MLAs, CK Rahulji, the party's MLA from Godra, and the BJP MLA from Kalol, Suman Ben Chauhan. The others are Vinita Lele, listed as a social worker on the document, but her social media profile shows that she is a member of the BJP. Sardar Sin Patel is another social worker that is listed as a member of the committee that recommended the release of the 11 convicts in this case. He is also said to be a member of the BJP. We in fact got his contact number from the BJP office in Godra. Another social worker on the list is Pavan Bhai Soni. However, the BJP Gujarat's webpage shows that he is in fact a member of the state executive committee of the party. We tried speaking to Pavan Soni. After multiple calls and even a visit to his home, we finally met him at his shop at the address listed on the BJP Gujarat's website. He refused to answer any of our questions. But he did not outright deny his or the others' involvement with the committee or the BJP. सरदार सिंह बारिया पटेल जी ये भी उस कमेटी के हिस्से थे
the government officials on the panel said they went by the rules but the sizable presence of the bjp will only intensify criticism of a political hand behind the release of the men with camera person zavier thomas this is mariam alavi for ndtv on to some other news a 10000 square feet bungalow featuring a swimming pool a jacuzzi and a bar four more houses cash jewelry and luxury cars have all been seized by officials during raids in madhya pradesh's jabalpur but the twist in the tale this wasn't an affluent businessman or even a highly placed politician being raided but a regional transport officer in the madhya pradesh government who has amassed assets which are completely disproportionate to his 65000 rupees a month salary my colleague anurag dwari gets us these details a swimming pool jacuzzi and a mini bar discovered after a raid by officials in madhya pradesh not at the residence of a multimillionaire but that of santosh pal a madhya pradesh government official drawing 65000 rupees per month salary Pal works as a regional transport officer supervising vehicle permits and driving licenses among other things in the Jabalpur district Abhi jo jaanch mein aaya tha jo shikayat aayi thi usko satyapan karaya gaya tha wo shikayat satyapan par ye paya gaya tha ki jo inke aur unki patni ke aaye ke vaid shot hain uske tulna mein lagbhag 650 sampatti inke dwara arjit ki gayi hai aur vay kiya gaya hai The raid at Pal's residence were conducted after numerous complaints of corruption against him in the last few months officials from the state's economic offences wing say they have found rupees 16 lakh cash expensive jewelry luxury cars and papers of four more houses and one farmhouse in pal's name pal's wife is a clerk at the same office a case has been registered against the couple under the provisions of corruption act 1988 ongoing probe has revealed that the couple particularly the arto had links with the power corridor in the state in hopal with camera person rizwan khan and sanjeev choudhury anurag dwari for ndtv